I found 15 side jobs that anyone can do to make money. That's right, these are jobs where it really doesn't matter where you live or what background you come from or the skills that you have. You can do these tomorrow if you wanted to, to make money. So let's go ahead and jump into number one on the list, which is going to be a laundry professional. And this is where you provide a service where you wash, dry, fold laundry, and then in many cases, you would actually deliver it to the person's house. And this has evolved into a very popular side hustle. In fact, there's actually apps that allow you to do this. The app formerly known as Sudchair, which is now known as Poplin, for instance. And it's almost like the Uber for the laundry industry. And an interesting fact here is early sea voyagers like the Vikings used to tie their laundry up and hang it off the back of ships. And then it would actually wash the laundry as it passed by the waves and the waves splashed on it. And if you don't think you can make money doing this, well, the people on the app that use, you know, Poplin that are known as Sudsters, <laughs> which is kind of a funny name. They make $36 an hour doing this. And of course you don't have to use the app. You can just start up your own laundry business as well. And you could advertise it on places like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, it's not gonna be the most glorious way of making money. I mean, laundry is kind of boring after all. But with that being said, there is a need for this and you tend to attract the types of clients that have a lot of money, but they don't have a lot of time. And so they're trying to save time by spending their money. And these are usually the types of clients that like to pay for convenience and people who like to pay for convenience are willing to pay a premium price. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. What's up guys? So I'm sitting here in the editing process and I realized that I actually have a live stream. It's basically gonna be like a workshop. It's gonna be a Zoom workshop. You're gonna be in a call with me and I'm gonna be teaching you how to grow and monetize YouTube. I'm gonna re be revealing the five biggest secrets that I have when it comes to growing and monetizing YouTube. YouTube. And then on top of that, I'm going to be answering any questions that you have about starting a successful YouTube channel. So that is going to be 8 p.m. on Tuesday, Eastern Daylight Time, because they recently changed that. So it's EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so make sure you double check on the time because the time zone change is going to be happening here pretty soon. So Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Um, definitely check it out. Don't want to miss it. I'll see you there. The next side job is going to be stage management. And this is basically where you're sort of like the maestro that orchestrates the behind the scenes magic in places like theaters or different types of performances. And they're often employed by theater companies, production houses, and dance troops. And basically when these different acts come into town, whether it is a musician or it's a comedian or it's some sort of performer, they need people that know how to do stuff that can help them set up and break things down. And that's where you come in as a stage management expert. For instance, this person right here, Course Junkie posted on Reddit that they make $60 an hour at minimum doing stage management. And their last check was $4,200 for five days. Now, if companies hire an in-house stage manager, it would cost them about forty-eight dollars to $84,000 a year on average, but you can likely make a lot more than that if you do it as a freelance or a side job type of thing. So yeah, this is a legit side hustle. There's many different ways of getting into it. But overall, knowing how to set things up, knowing how to break things down, knowing the common problems that tend to happen so that you can prevent them from happening is a really rare and valuable skill set. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, my team and I spend hundreds of hours researching and making these videos. So if you appreciate that, because we put a lot of effort into these videos, trying to make them as good as possible and give you as many good ideas as possible, then go ahead and let us know by liking the video and we'll make more videos like it in the future. Now, the next one on the list is kind of funny and I kind of put it on here as a joke, but maybe a few people might do it. And that would be art modeling. And that is basically basically where you let people draw you. So a lot of the time you'd be working for either a college or some sort of art class, and then you would get up on a stage and you would let people draw you. And typically you get paid about $25 an hour to do this and classes will typically last about three to five hours. And a fun fact here is paintings have actually dated back to over 40,000 years where they originally found paintings on cave walls. Now, if I'm being honest here, the best gigs are going to be ones where you have to get nude. And that's why I kind of put this one as a joke, because basically the criteria here is one, be pretty, two, get naked, three, question mark, four, profit. But art models in general make about 37 to $63,000 a year. So this is a legitimate way to make extra money, but you're probably going to end up smiling like this guy. So yeah, this one, I'll go ahead and give a five out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going 
going to be a car test driver. And this is somebody who basically assesses vehicle performance and they focus on speed, safety, and mechanics. And they typically are gonna work with automotive companies and they provide essential feedback on new models and prototypes. So you're almost like a culinary critic, except instead of reviewing food, you review cars. And vehicle test drivers make about 53 to $83,000 a year. Now for this one, it does require some knowledge of vehicles, but with that being said, a lot of the time they do like to hire average Joes that don't have a lot of knowledge because to be honest, that's the average person who's going to be buying the vehicle. And you can see these types of gigs posted on job sites all the time. So this is definitely a legit way of making money. It's gonna be especially good if you live in an area that has these types of car companies. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be YouTube Movie Review Recap Scriptwriter. And this is where you basically make recaps on different types of movies and you distill the full length movies into concise, engaging scripts for quick viewing format. And you've probably noticed a lot of these types of channels on YouTube before. And this is kind of a way of sort of watching a movie without having to actually watch it and seeing if it's worth it for you to watch the whole thing. So this is one of many ways that you can actually make money on YouTube. Um, if you wanna skip the whole script writing thing, you could actually just start your own YouTube channel as well. And that's exactly what I did. And I feel like I would be a hypocrite if I didn't tell you that I think it's one of the best side jobs that you can do because the creator economy is growing like crazy and people more and more are making their buying decisions as well as their viewing decisions based off of social media and specifically YouTube. And so getting into this industry in any way that you possibly can is an incredibly good opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I actually do mentor several people per month on how to grow and make money from their YouTube channels. And basically it's just kind of a passion project that I do because I love YouTube so much and I do make over six figures a month from this channel alone. And so I like to help other people grow on YouTube as well but I'm very picky about who I work with. You can apply to work with me by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But like I said, I only work with a few people per month. I'm very picky about who I work with and I really only wanna work with people that are really serious about starting on YouTube. So yeah, check it out with the link down in the description or the pinned comment below if you think that person is you. Next, let's talk about one of the oldest side jobs known to mankind. This is something I've done many, many times in the past and that is flipping items. So this is is very simple. You simply pick a niche of items, maybe bikes or shoes, for instance. You buy them low and then you sell them high. It's that simple. And there's many different sites you can do this on. You can use eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, etc. And there is literally countless examples of people who do this as a side job and make some really good side money or even turn it into a full-time thing. For instance, Alexis Schroeder wrote a blog post where she talked about in 2015, she did part-time flip and she made $42,000. And in 2016, she made it to $133,000 her first year doing it full time. Here's another person making an extra four to $6,000 per year. And here's another person who makes an extra $12,000 a year doing it part time. And even as a teenager, I was making over $10,000 a year doing this and I only did it part time as well. So basically what you wanna do here is find something where you know a lot about the product. So for instance, let's say you play Yu-Gi-Oh or you play Pokemon a lot. So you know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or maybe Magic the Gathering cards. That would be a really good thing for you to flip items with. Maybe you're a big fan of anime or manga. So that would be a great thing for you to flip items with as well. Maybe you're a shoe head, you're obsessed with shoes. That would be a great thing for you to flip. Or maybe you're a car person, you're really handy, you understand cars, you understand how to fix them. That would be a phenomenal thing for you to flip. So I think you get the point here, flipping items, oldest side hustle or side job known to mankind probably, and still one of the best. I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be user testing experience. So this is basically where you use and evaluate different websites and applications. And then you provide essential feedback to enhance their usability. And companies from all sizes, from startups to small and medium sized businesses to corporations rely on this feedback to refine their digital presence. Because if you've ever used a website that has really bad sort of like user experience, versus using one where everything seems just intuitive, you just 
intuitively know where everything is, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a much better experience and you're much more likely to stay on that website. And here's a quote from the co-founder of Twitter. The user experience is everything. It always has been, but it's undervalued and underinvested in. If you don't know user-centered design, study it. Hire people who know it, obsess over it, live and breathe it get your whole company on board. So yeah, that just shows how important this is. And so they need people to give them feedback on how well their website is designed. And there's different websites out there like Userlytics, which basically pays $10 per test and each test takes 20 to 40 minutes. That's kind of a good beginner one. Usertesting.com, it takes about five to 20 minutes. Sometimes there's live conversations, et cetera, and they pay between four and $120 per test. Tester work uh, pays you based off how many bugs you find. Testing time pays you $50 per study and it takes 30 to 90 minutes. And then user feel pays $10 per test and they take 10 to 60 minutes. So this is probably not going to be a full time thing. But this is a really good way of just making a few hundred extra dollars per month. And it's extremely accessible to just about everybody out there. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, user testing is involved in the technology industry. And the reason that they're able to pay people so well is because SaaS companies or technology companies make a ton of money. And if you want to get involved in the technology industry, I think the easiest entry level job to get into is known as tech sales. And specifically, the job you would get into is known as a business development representative. And I've helped a ton of people on this channel get into this career path. And I've even interviewed them on the channel. So I have an entire playlist of people that I've helped get into this. And if you're interested in also getting into tech sales, there's actually a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below that you can check out and tech sales, you can make a ton of money, we're talking like $70,000 a year just starting out in your first year. So yeah, definitely check that out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you're interested. Next side job on the list is going to be pet care. And this is an oldie but a goodie. Basically, people go to work, they go out of town, they go to visit their family, and they need somebody to take care of their loved and trusted pets, right? Pets are basically a part of the family, but it's very difficult to travel with them. And if you can do a good job taking care of their pet, they are going to pay you a premium for it. And pet care basically involves involves tasks like dog walking, feeding, pet sitting, and sometimes it might require overnight stays either at their house or in some cases you'll be hosting the pet at your own house. And so there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to scheduling these services and your clientele typically are people who have a lot of money and so they're willing to pay a premium for a good service. And let's be honest, you're probably going to have a really good time doing it as well because there's a lot of animal lovers out there. And in pet care, you can make about 40 to $71,000 a year. The Rover app is probably the quickest and easiest way of getting started with this because it's basically the uber of pet care and this person for instance started doing it part-time and they made thirteen thousand dollars in their first year plus they expect to make twenty thousand dollars in their second year and again they're just doing it during their free time so yeah this is a really good one a lot of money out there you can do it on an app like rover or you could just start your own business and then you could advertise on facebook marketplace or craigslist so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a professional organizer so this is where you basically get to channel your inner Marie Kondo and you get to clean up people's spaces and then organize them. And a lot of people like to do this for free anyways. They just like to have things organized. It's fun for them. So might as well get paid money to do it. And professional organizers make about 53 dollars to $83,000 a year. So this is another one where you could post your services on an app like TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit isn't available in your area. You can always post on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Or you could just go around town and offer your services, put your services up on a bulletin board in the middle of your town, etc. There's so many different ways to get clients to do this. And it's honestly something that a lot of people need help with including myself. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, comment down below uh, whether you like any of these ideas or whether there's some other ideas that you wish I would have talked about. And there's a very good chance that I'll talk about them in more detail in the future. Next is going to be candle making. And actually, this is a pretty profitable side job that you can do. There's even entire companies that are dedicated to this industry like Scentsy. But the particular way that I'm going to talk about doing this today day is going to be creating your own candles and then selling them. And this basically involves crafting and selling handmade candles. And you often incorporate unique scents, colors and shapes into the candles. And this appeals to customers that are looking for a unique experience that isn't sort of like a corporate candle. And they want to decorate their houses with really beautiful candles and then also in some cases light them up 
and have really nice scents. And you can almost think of this like being a chef, but instead of tantalizing taste buds, you're going to be enchanting the olfactory senses and creating a visual feast at the same time. And one interesting thing about this is candles have actually been around for over 2,500 years. So this is something that people have been enjoying for a very long period of time. Now, this lady, for instance, she owns the channel Memory Box Candle Co. She made $37,000 in her first year after starting this company, and she planned on making over $100,000 in her second year in 2023, which she did. This person, for instance, who posted in r slash entrepreneur started a candle business four years ago and then they said that they're clearing over two hundred thousand dollars this year so you can make some real money in this business or you could just do it as a side hustle kind of just a fun thing to do on the side and kind of just sell it to your friends and family so overall i'm going to give this one a seven out of ten opportunity score next on the list is going to be voiceover work and this is something that is surprisingly easy to get into these days and i think one of the main reasons it's so easy to get into is because of the onset of ai so they're coming out with these AI voices that sort of sound realistic, but just about anyone can kind of tell when it's an AI voice. And so because of that, actual real people doing voiceovers are becoming more and more valuable. And I can tell you there's not a lot of channels out there that use AI voices and they do well. Almost all the successful channels I know actually do have real people who are giving the voiceovers, whether it's the person who owns the channel or someone that they hire. And many of them aren't looking for a super professional sound. A lot of the time they actually are looking for someone who doesn't have that professional sound because it's more authentic and realistic. So you don't have to have super expensive audio equipment in order to get started. So voiceover artists make about 57 to $105,000 a year. And so you can definitely make really good money doing this both as a professional, as someone who starts their own business, as a freelancer, or someone who's just doing it as a side job. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be some sort of life coach or some sort of coach in general. Now this could be a career coach, a life coach, a fitness coach, a mindset set coach, a business coach, etc. Basically, where you have done something in your life that is somewhat impressive, maybe you got a college degree, or maybe you got into a career path that's kind of hard to get into. And then you coach other people how to do that exact same thing. It's pretty much that simple. First, accomplish X, then teach other people who want to accomplish X how to accomplish X as well. That's how coaching pretty much works. And imagine anything that you've gotten really good at in your life. Maybe you got really good at playing a musical instrument or playing sports. And then imagine trying to do that without ever having any feedback from a coach or a teacher. Probably would have been borderline impossible to do it, right? Well, it's the same thing in business or getting a career, etc. It's always super helpful if you have somebody to give you feedback. And life coaches, for instance, make about fifty-four to $92,000 a year. So yeah, you can make a lot of money doing this. Um, I've seen a ton of people. It's one of the most common business models where I've seen people make money with it. And all you literally have to do is just think of like, what are you already good at? Like, what have you already done a lot of? And then teach other people how to do that Thing. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be reselling furniture. Now this is actually a really, really good side hustle because the thing about this is there's a lot of couches out there, for instance, that are really nice couches, you, you know, couches or chairs, something like a lazy boy, for instance, but they get like a little stain on them and then they get a little wear and tear and most people just kind of get rid of them. And the truth is when you originally bought these things, they might've been thousands and thousands of dollars. And so what you you can do is you can come in with professional cleaning equipment, clean off the couch or clean off the chair, right? So you can resell it for almost brand new prices. So if it originally cost $3,000, you can resell it for like $2,500 or $2,000. And keep in mind, you originally bought it from somebody who basically just wanted to get rid of it. And maybe you bought it for like 50 bucks. So couch flipping, for instance, is a phenomenal way of making money. So I really, really like this one a lot. There's lots of people that post online how they're making, you know, $3,000, $6,000 a month doing this and basically it's flipping but with one extra step which is you kind of like clean the couch first so yeah this one is excellent i'm going to give it a nine out of ten opportunity score the next one is going to be a computer technician and there's so many different types of computer technician types of side jobs that you can do just to give you one example let's say that somebody wants to start up a podcast well having the sound dialed in on a podcast is actually not the easiest thing in the world and another thing that if you notice when you watch a lot of podcasts it actually automatically goes to the person who's talking, right? So the technology knows who's talking and 
the camera automatically goes to that person. And again, that type of thing isn't the easiest thing in the world to set up. However, if you figure out how to set it up one time, you can do it over and over and over again and then you can get paid by people to do it, people who basically don't wanna to have to take the time to figure out all the technology and everything like that. And so not only can you tell them exactly what they need to buy, but you can also just set it up for them. And as you can imagine, there's probably a lot of demand for this in your local area because everybody's trying to start YouTube channels and podcasts and all kinds of different things like that. So that's just one example of a computer technician. I mean, there's a million other examples out there. You basically just wanna find particular things where people are willing to pay a premium price in order for you to set it up correctly. So yeah, this is a great one. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about selling plants. So this is where you would plant, grow, and cultivate different types of plants. And then you would sell them to people who wanna have plants in their house or maybe in their backyard. Now, there's very simple ways of doing this where maybe you just grow flowers or something like that. And then there's people who get into extremely niche types of plant growing where they're growing different types of bonsai trees, for instance. And these bonsai trees can sell for, in some cases, over $10,000. And here's a guy who posted online, for instance, about how growing and selling small plants is the best side hustle ever. Okay, he might be exaggerating it a little bit, but it is a legit side hustle. It's a really good one. And here's a person on Reddit who talks about how they do this part time and they make about 15 to 25K per year in profit. So basically they talk about their business model, which is selling outdoor plants in mostly trade gallon containers for $7 each. And they usually grow about four to 5,000 plants each year and sell most of them in early to mid spring. So if you're somebody who likes to plant and garden things anyways, this could be an amazing side job for you. And you could even turn it into a full-time business as well somewhere down the line. So this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I have a video that went viral and it's the 21 dirty side hustles that no one talks about. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.